Hello everyone welcome to Skyworld we hope all you fine LTS move on toady top stories. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken had candid and constructive discussions on a range of bilateral, regional, and global issues with top Chinese diplomat Wang Yi on Thursday, the latest in a series of increased high-level interactions between Washington and Beijing. Their meeting on the sidelines of the ASEAN foreign ministers' meeting in Jakarta comes less than a month after the two met in Beijing for what was also described by the U.S. as candid and constructive conversation. Wang, who is the top foreign policy chief for the Chinese Communist Party, attended the diplomatic gathering in place of China's foreign minister, Qin Gang who is unable to attend due to health reasons, Reuters reported, citing a spokesman for his ministry, efforts to stabilize the relationship between the world's two biggest economies have intensified in recent months following a period of immense friction between the United States and China. There were no breakthroughs from the meeting in Jakarta, a senior State Department official said, but that wasn't the intention. Instead, the hour-and-half-long meeting was intended as a follow-up to previous conversations in Beijing, and the two top diplomats were able to pick up where they left off, and then take the conversations to the next level of detail, the official told press traveling with Blinken. The conversation was a bit more focused on action, and concrete next steps, they added according to a readout from State Department. Spokesperson Matt Miller, Blinken and Wang discussed areas of difference and potential areas of cooperation. The secretary used the meeting to advance U.S. interests and values, to directly raise concerns shared by the United States and allies and partners regarding PRC actions, and advocate for progress on transnational challenges that affect people in the United States, the PRC, and around the world, Miller said. Blinken emphasized the importance of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, and made clear to Wang that the United States, together with our allies and partners, will advance our vision for a free, open, and rules-based international order. Wang told Blinken the critical next step for China and the U.S. is to take real actions to put the bilateral relationship back on the right track, according to a readout from the Chinese Foreign Ministry. He urged the U.S. to take a rational and pragmatic approach, expand diplomatic and security communications with China and promote people-to-people -people exchanges. The United States must refrain from wantonly interfering in China's internal affairs, refrain from compromising China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, stop suppressing China's economy, trade and technology, and lift illegal and unreasonable sanctions. Against China, Wang said, according to the readout, Fentanyl discussion Blinken and Wang spent a fair amount of time talking about fentanyl, the senior State Department official said. In particular, he emphasized the importance of the U.S. and China working together to disrupt the global flow of synthetic drugs, particularly fentanyl, and their precursor chemicals into the U.S. to save American lives, the official said. Following the meeting in Beijing, Blinken said that the two sides were trying to establish a working group on the illicit drug. I wouldn't say there was progress on the establishment of the working group, the official said Thursday, but the issue was discussed in depth. Many of the precursor chemicals used to manufacture fentanyl come from China. Chinese officials have continued to say they cannot cooperate with the U.S. on the challenge because of sanctions on a Chinese lab and the recent arrest of Chinese nationals in Fiji who were involved in drug trafficking to the U.S. and Mexico. 
a senior administration official told CNN earlier this week. Indeed, numerous key issues between the US and China remain.